to my channel. Today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you guys using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I was really drawn to this palette because it has a lot of everyday colors in it, a lot of warm neutrals, and I wanted to do a look like the one I did in my ColourPop swatch video. So if you really did like that gold eye look, I'm doing that exact same look in this tutorial and I'm using all the same shades that I had used for that makeup look. So if you want to know how to get this everyday look, please keep watching and I will show you how. Alright guys, I'm going to be priming the skin with my Revlon Photo Ready Primer and I just started using this primer about a week ago and I kind of overlooked it for a while because it is from the drugstore but I absolutely love it. It makes my Makeup Forever foundation go on so nice and matte and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. This is a really great primer from the drugstore and I suggest it. This is Makeup Forever Ultra HD, Y35 is my color, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my skin. I like to spray my brush before I apply my foundation. It just kind of dampens the brush a little bit and makes it go on a lot smoother. This is probably my favorite foundation ever. This one matches my skin pretty good. It's a little bit darker because I am super pale, so I like to make my skin a little bit tanner than my actual body. So I'm just going to apply that to my skin, and then I'm gonna go in with Naked Skin Concealer. This is in Light Warm. I'm just going to apply this in three little strokes under my eyes. And then I'm just gonna buff that out with a Real Technique sponge. I usually use my Morphe G2 brush for this, but I decided to try something different this time, so I am gonna be using the Real Technique sponge. I purchased this sponge at Ulta. Next, I'm going to be setting that concealer with my Kat Von D contour kit. I always use the lightest shade to set my under eye concealer, and I have already been through one contour kit, that's how much I love it. Next, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder, and I just like to apply this to my foundation so that my bronzer and contour go on a lot sleeker. Next, I'm going to go in with my Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and I just picked this up yesterday, so this is the first time I'm trying it, and I have to say, I absolutely love this bronzer. It's really nice if you have fair skin. I know right now I'm super pale, so I can't really use a lot of my old bronzers, and this one is just the perfect shade. It's a very gray tone, so if you do like bronzers that are more on the grayer side, you will love this product. Next, I'm going to go in with my Champagne Glow Palette, which I absolutely love, and I'm mixing Champagne Pop and Pearl, and I'm just applying this to my cheekbones, and as you can see, it's such a beautiful shade. I'm so happy that I purchased this, and I just, I'm in love with this color Pearl. I hope they make this permanent because it is just so pretty. I like to apply those two shades to my nose as well. This makes my nose look a lot thinner, and I just really like the way this looks. It's something that I always do when I'm applying highlighter. Next, I'm going to go in with my Milani blush, and this is in Berry Amour. I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, kind of along the side of my face where I contour. I really like the way this diffuses out the contour and bronzer. This is just like how I like to apply blush. I don't really like to apply it on my apples and my cheeks because it makes my face look a lot rounder. So I always take it to the back of my cheekbones. Next, I'm going to be filling in my brows. And the shade that I will be using is Anastasia Dip Brow Medium Brown. And I usually use the brow powders, but lately I've really been into the dip brow. And it's just a matter of blending this out. When you apply a little bit, you just have to brush it out to make sure you don't put too much. I like to hold the brush horizontally and kind of flick upward to make a more sharper shape in the front of my brows. This just kind of makes my brows look a lot neater. And I've been doing this lately and I really like it. If you guys would like a brow tutorial, please comment below. I would be happy to do an in-depth tutorial for you guys. Next, I'm just going to set this with my Brow Stylist Plumper by L'Oreal. I always use the medium to deep color, and I just like to go in the direction of where my brow hairs grow. Next, I'm going to be taking this Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I'm taking Cashmere Bunny, and I'm going to place this color on my crease. This is just a really nice medium tone transition color. I'm just taking this little by little because this is an everyday makeup look. I didn't want to do something too drastic for you guys. I wanted to do something that you guys could wear every day. So I'm just taking Cashmere Bunny and doing windshield wiper motions in my crease.
Next, I'm going to take the shade Honey Pot, and this is the gold shade in the palette, and I'm just applying this to my lid. This is a really pretty color. You can go as dark as you want, but I decided to make this really subtle because I wanted this to be really pretty and natural looking. So just apply Honey Pot to your lid very lightly. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Silk Teddy and I'm applying this to my brow bone. This is a really pretty color for your brow bone and also for your inner tear duct, so I will be applying this to my inner tear duct. This is gonna make me look more awake and a little bit more shimmery towards the inner corner. Next, I'm gonna deepen up the crease with the shade Sexpresso, which is a dark brown. You can really use any dark brown for this look. You just need a gold and a dark brown and you're set. But I really like these shades because they blend together really well and they're super natural, even though they are shimmery. They're not too overpowering. So I'm just taking that dark brown and applying that to the outer V of my eye and bringing it inward. This is just gonna darken up the look and make it pop a lot more. So go ahead and apply as much as you would like. I'm just doing this lightly, but you can apply more if you want this to be more glamorous. Next, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner, and I'm just taking this on a pointed brush. I will list the name of it in the description box. I'm not really sure what it's called. I'm pretty sure I got this in my BoxyCharm gift set. So I'm just going to take my eyeliner very thinly. I didn't wanna do a super thick wing for this look. And I'm just lining this out first. I know this can be super tricky, but as long as you have a super thin brush, it really, really helps when doing your eyeliner. I'm just lining this out, and then I'm gonna go back in with a thicker brush and fill in that wing. This step really keeps you from putting too much eyeliner on. Sometimes I get crazy and I put a huge wing, and for this look, I wanted to do something really thin and really sharp. Next, I'm just going to apply my CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, which is my favorite mascara right now, and I'm just applying a light coat of that to my lashes before I apply my false lashes. And the ones I'll be using today are the Ardell Double Up Wispies, and I think this is pretty cool because I normally do double up my lashes by Ardell, and these are really nice, so they're nice and thick, but not too thick. So I'm just going to apply those and I like to squeeze them down really, really tight so they stick on nicely. And I know you can see the glue, but it does dry to clear. You just have to wait a few minutes. So as long as you're just making sure that those are really bonded to your lashes by just pinching them, it really secures them nicely and very tightly. Next, I'm going to be taking this Tarte Eyeliner. I will name what it is in the description box. I'm not sure, I also got this in my Ipsy box. So I really love this eyeliner. It's really nice and smooth. I'm just lining that bottom lash line and then I'm gonna go into that color with Cashmere Bunny. I just wanna make sure that this is nice and smudged out before I do that. So now I'm just buffing this in. I really wanna make this nice and diffused and somewhat smoky. I don't want this too dark, I just want this to be a little bit more on the natural smoky side. Next, I'm taking this Tarte eyeliner and I'm applying this to my waterline. This is like a cream colored liner and this is really nice. I do this when I wanna make my eyes look bigger. If you line it with a darker liner, it's gonna make your eyes look smaller. If you line it with a vanilla liner and you put it against a dark brown shade on your lower lash line, this really makes your eyes pop. Next, I'm gonna apply some mascara on those bottom lashes. And I really like to make this look kind of doll-like. I really like to apply the mascara pretty thickly on the bottom lashes. This is just something that I like to do. You can skip this step if you would like, but this is just what I always do. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Sore Lip Liner, and this is definitely my favorite lip liner. I'm actually almost done with it. 
Um, I've been trying to find everywhere, but it's sold out. This is a really nice dusty mauve color. I'm applying this to my lips, and then I'm gonna go in with my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D, and this is in the shade Lovesick. This is one of my favorite colors by Kat Von D. It's a really nice muted pink. It dries a little bit darker, so it looks really light pink right now, but it will dry to a darker shade after just a few minutes. 